I don't know if this is off of H.P. Lovecraft's like stories, because he has a Cthulhu story. He's like the original like king of horror. Good old H.P. Harrison Wells Lovecraft with a P in there. The P is silent. What's up, monsters? Today we are playing Call of Cthulhu. I am surprised I said that correctly. I'm surprised you said it correctly. No, right? I'm so proud of you. Brownie points for me. I'm moving up with no No, points. spell it. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Spelling, as you guys probably know, is not my strong suit. Nor is Ben. But anyway. <laughs> Unrelatable. <laughs> On a related topic, welcome to Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> so this is uh, this is like a new horror game, but it's I've been following a handful of horror games. Uh, one was The Conjuring House, which we played, and uh, it's it's starting to give us troubles. We will get back to it. Don't don't you worry. We. We will get back to it. Yeah, once we get the bugs burned out, I definitely want to go back to the game. Oh, yeah. It's really good so far. Yeah, I need to figure some things out. But, we will be getting back to that game. But in the meantime, while we're still working on, like, fixes for certain other games that we are trying to play, we are going to be jumping into Call of Cthulhu. This game, I have been super excited for. I've already played this like really really beginning part I didn't see anything else apparently there's like a detective like idea but I don't I don't know where like how to do it yet so I've only played up past this little piece Like, he's like Davy Jones, but cooler. What a putrid offering. Did you know orca, right? Huh? Did you know there's two types of orcas? There's like one that is like the definition of a killer whale that's just like really aggressive, and then you have the one that kind of like isn't aggressive and doesn't bother humans or anybody really. The more you know. Featuring D. Random facts that won't do you any good, ID. Unless you're in a class that you're doing stuff on whales. All I know is their penises are pretty big. Can't you, help you. You would know that. They're like the biggest freaking creature, dude. Isn't it like what, like it's called, a dork is like the name of like the penis for a whale? Do you know what that is? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Well, then you're a dwarf. They look like the Silent Brothers. I don't know. Oh, it's Davy Jones. It's Davy Jones. Ooh. They're Silent Brothers from the Shadow Hunters. Unless you don't know what I'm talking about, then no. Bad or... Ooh. Ooh. I hate whiskey. That just reminded me of the little rascals. I hate whiskey. But, um... I used to be an avid reader. Damn it. Hold on. Okay. 
Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. The Wentworth Agency does attract top-notch cases. This guy's voice. Married woman singing runs off with her girlfriend. The, the singing the husband song. couldn't understand it. You know what I'm talking about? Hello, my darling. Hello, my, hello, my sunshine gal. Oh, from like the cartoons? <laughs> yeah. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. Oh! Hey. The husband couldn't understand why. Case closed. Because she doesn't like dick. What? She doesn't like dick! Natural <laughs> science. <laughs> Linguistics. Archaeology. Who doesn't like dick? What? This is crazy talk. <laughs> I should get rid of all this stuff. I should get rid of all this stuff. So is this a real London? Oh no, it's in Boston. Why did I just say? It? Why did I just ask if we were in London if in the beginning it said we were in Boston? Because you momentarily forgot. <laughs> he doesn't have a Boston accent. Is this whiskey? You want to have a drink? He said he hates whiskey. I think it would be ironic to have another drink of whiskey. <laughs> All right, let's have a drink. <laughs> uh, I really hate whiskey. Let's drink effect. some more whiskey. <laughs> Drinking whiskey. Ooh, tattoo. That right there affects all of the gameplay. <laughs> that little, that little it's a butterfly effect. We just screwed something up in the future by drinking whiskey. I wonder why I still take these things. Ooh, sleeping pills? But it looks like a bottle. The doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they would put an end to the nightmares. But for a while, their effect has been wearing off. Oh, I've had more! I've got some! Let's have another drink. I just picked up sleeping pills. I need a drink. You're an alcoholic! No. Alright, I have a hangover. What does that mean? It means you're an alcoholic. Wrong. A good old story it of black and a speakeasy. Wrong. It means I was drunk yesterday. <laughs> the bar owner uh, who hired me easy. didn't like the way I closed this case. When you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. So what is this? Thanks, please, in the 20s? Uh, right, 20s. Speakeasies are in the 20s, right? Turn off. It's really I, I thought it was gonna change the station. Oh no, now I can't touch it again. The phone! It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Oh. Oh! What? Uh, yeah. 24. 1924. Alright, you're right. Good job, oh, yeah. D. History. The more you know. I don't know which. There we go. That makes more sense because we're on like, they usually put us on like the right side of the, left side of the screen. Uh, don't. The more you know. <laughs> That's gonna make no sense. Because I'm probably not gonna do anything about it. It's gonna look stupid. Would you like to know? Oh, jeez. Sure, keep going. Uh, did we read this already? No. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Damn. Despite the treatment, I hear voices in my dreams. But they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creatures call it? Interesting. Is it Cthulhu? Is it Cthulhu? Do I do we have any skills? Ooh, occultism. Yes, please. Medicine. Why can't I do anything? Oh. Only be improved by objects discovered in the environment. Okay. Alcohol. Uh, wait, alcohol doesn't do that for me. It should make me better at both. Sure. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will still be up. Thank you for the invitation, Mr. Pierce. 
on a related matter? May I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contract. Progress. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, work is scarce. you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still... Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming. Uh, we're a hardened <laughs> detective. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Uh... You're free to leave any time, sir. So if we didn't drink, Do you know to whom that. you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter. It's funny because we yes. literally just watched Everyone Sabrina the Teenage Witch. The police accuse her of killing her family. It. Spoiler alert! They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. <laughs> I can't do Whoopsie. anything for a worse than her is already dead. Find out it's a good the truth. Show, though. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done <laughs> such a thing. <laughs> but if you it have looks like proof, that was a I've hand. brought all that I so, have. Oh. Hey. Oh my god, it does. Wait. I'm Let me give you a high five. Carefully at this painting. <laughs> I'm trying to match it. Tell me all really the hard. assumptions that come to mind. <laughs> kind of. What am I supposed to find? Oh, I tell got me. It. Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. All That's right. all you've got? I'll look at the your painting? Picture. I placed a That's file like on that. your desk. It contains That's everything I have picture. on the affair. It reminds me of the artwork that was in that one game. A warehouse on Darkwater. Played. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. That game didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I mean, we could have just played it on our own. Together. Yeah, infection? That recording. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36 Darkwater. Ooh. The police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a business man from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life uh, there with their only son, Simon. I guess let's look at this. I'll be totally honest, that kind of looks like our dream. Uh, yeah, it does. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. That's actually one so, of the first things Mr. I Pierce, thought of when we first saw What do you it. make of like, these? It looked like the dream guy. that we just had. Yeah. All right, what do you want to say? Uh, so you shouldn't take this painting lightly, which was unlocked. 
Uh, where did she live? I read about her mental fragility in a police report. I see. Something's not right with this story. Something. I would say that definitely, but. I mean, I would say something's not right. Mm. You shouldn't take this painting out lightly since it's unlocked. So this one? Either or those two. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't bring up anything about her mental, because that might just set him off. Yeah. Or even Like, I kind of want to do this too, but I don't know if that's going to be, like, just the end of the conversation. Yeah. I, I mean, what are those... Maybe even like the where the wait. What is the warehouse? You want to do this one? One of what is it? I'm asking. Like with I. I didn't it's hear um. It was a. It was the address. Uh, the shipping label. That was. That he saw, and that's all he can figure out was, warehouse thirty six Darkwater. So he might not know anything about. Well, I don't. We don't know. So I would just go with. He might. Cause it. It kind of oh, said we, where she lived. We just saw the warehouse, not him, basically. We saw it on the shipping label. So we, he gave us all the information, so... So I'm going to say either one of those three. You shouldn't take this lightly. Something's not right with the story or... Dark know, water. Let's see where she lives. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Okay. Okay, so that didn't... The sender's label mentions mm. Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Okay, so he isn't really know. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning yeah, behind pretty, all this. Her husband was a big deal on the island. Maybe. The police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. I kind of want to so ask why, just to find out what he says. Why are some of them still highlighted and others are not? So it's because, so I asked all of these. He didn't have anything on this. So that's why that's still there. But he told us the three of them. I kind of want to. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Shut up, Wind. Okay. I think that's I all think we need. I'm beginning to understand. Looks like we're going to dock water. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Can I go to a honor. Red Sox game Quiet first? Down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. I'm on your An side. artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dock water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. Ooh. All right, I'll take the case. I do like handsomely I'll go compensated. To and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. 
What is Something's that queer. supposed to mean? But it's not like I have a choice. Uh, I think that guy... Dark water. I think I've got a book on the Fuck North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some mug? information on this island in there. Where did the muck get there? Need another drink before this. <laughs> no! I can't drink! No! You must let me drink! No! How come I can still do that, but I can't drink anymore? No! You have reached your quota. <laughs> I've reached the limit. Look at this before. Uh, dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. First volume lists all illnesses known to the civilized world. What details the symptoms and suitable treatment? Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. We took it. Anything else I could take? I used to be an avid reader. Uh, this is all the same stuff. I thought the picture was gone for a second. Oh, what did it go? It was like Cthulhu? Hello? All oh, hail the mighty Cthulhu. Ooh, whiskey. No, let me take whiskey. Find out about dark water. I don't have anything on, on dark the water. desk, maybe. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Yeah, Maybe the map. Find the map, find the map. I should get rid of all this stuff. Really? Seriously? Dark water is off the ah, coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Hmm. Whale hunting. Oh, Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving ev uh, evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows. But today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. I wanted to wait until you're done talking. Just in case that cut him off. The Sarah Hawkins case. Ooh, we got a trophy. We took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting. On the shipping label and address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater, the place seems to be a starting point for Pierce's investigation. Very, Ooh. very interesting. Ooh. Oh, it's my turn. I okay. believe it is. We are on the chapter two. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Boom, <laughs> I had to switch it up so we don't get copyright for that. 